Well, next in the news we have next we also have some great news concerning my favorite place in the world Berghain has finally announced their June 2022 program and this is absolutely jam stacked with people that I want to go see obviously the time that I want to go there will be this which is the first weekend of June Hopefully I'm going to try and get over there for like a Saturday and come back on a Tuesday or something maybe. And this one is a weird one because it's the Sylvester Club Nutch. And if you know anything, or Club Nutch, however you pronounce it, Club Nutch, Club Nutch, I'm not sure you pronounce it. But if you know anything about Berghain, usually the Sylvesters are their anniversaries or their New Year's Eve parties, usually. Um, and it's weird that we're having one in June, right? It doesn't make any sense. But from what I've read online, this just their way of making up the date that they lost when obviously COVID happened. So they went to do this a couple of times and obviously COVID happened and then they had to close down for a prolonged period of time. And then you couldn't have a full amount of people in there. So it didn't make sense to have these kind of parties, bloody blah, blah, blah. So they're just making up for it and throwing it in now, which I don't really get because why not just do it later when it's obviously the time to do a, um, a New Year's Eve, New Year's Day kind of party. Um, I don't really understand doing it now, but as a punter, I'm not complaining. The lineup is still stacked with people that I'd like, love to go and see. The great thing about it is that it's stacked with people who you would consider to be mostly residents with the sprinkling of guest people here and there, but it's a mostly residents filled lineup of people. And I love that. That's one of my favorite things I love about going to these sort of parties is that you get to see actual residents. And usually because it's all residents, it means that a lot of the people who will be in there will be quote unquote regulars who everyone seems to be obsessed by these days. But they will be right. That's who's going to be there for the most part, because there's not really big you know fancy guests that they're getting in and flying from all over the place it's usually people who live in and around the city or in neighboring countries or whatnot or people that just play there often you know what i mean so i'm really looking forward to that and also it's going to be a weird one because it's one of the only times i can count maybe on one hand i've been to berlin and specifically to Berghain when it's sunny i always go during the winter i always go maybe you know the months between October and February when it's cold, 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 cold. So to go there and have the ability to go there and dance with strangers and, you know, and, and just enjoy the DJ sets on a very sunny day is going to be an experience. Maybe I have to change what I wear in terms of the clothes and stuff that I put on because usually I'm always decked out in my double sole shoes and bomber jackets and stuff. But if it's going to be this warm, it might be a good idea to go there and just, you know, skin up a bit. Do you know what I mean? And actually enjoy myself in a whole different way, which I haven't never done in a nightclub. I don't know if I've ever been in a nightclub and been completely topless. There's always some sort of crazy t shirt jumper thing that I'm wearing. So I might actually end up having to do that. So I'm really looking forward to this going forward. Um, the 4th of June weekend looking forward to it so far tentatively the lineup reads as follows for Berghain Dr. Rubenstein Etap Kyle Fadi Mohim Fadi Moham um, Fidel Josie Rebel Julia Huxable Luke Slater Natty Serious Norman Nodge Lorolando Sedef Adassi who I really want to see and Steffi I might have to go back and recount what i said about natty sears because I, I said when i went when i went last time i didn't really enjoy her set at all i thought she was maybe the weakest out of the entire lineup but i'm open and willing to have my opinion changed on her again so hopefully we'll get to see i'll get to see her play then at panorama bar they have the following people playing um boris carcita chris cruz gerd jansen the absolute Don, so it's going to be great to see him playing panorama bar just imagine how it's going to look jennifer cardini who's essentially you know God Janssen's um, clone but she's still decent enough in terms of the DJ so imagine seeing them back to back that'd be pretty sick um, you got Kekilomo, um, Kekilomo sorry you got Kitten playing <sighs> wow Lakuti Marcel Deepman back to back with Kitten so she's going to be playing twice crazy okay williams roy perez ryan elliott tamo Soma, virginia then in the xxx floor which i've never been to i'm not too sure if this might be the place where they hold snacks i'm not too sure but i've never been to that floor it's going to be nemo playing back to back with castro pablo bozzi playing there you got peach on fuzz playing there you got richie soundstream and valle budino and then another space which i've never been in called the elec how do you pronounce that the elec Traus took Truck, the electroca kustischer 
salon or just salon <laughs> yeah and the person playing there would be baker and book uh, and bow camera playing live i see mostly live acts right you got jaco jaco you got coco couchin you got exia you got alessandro andriani debbie chia you got genus you got luigi di verneni you got mary lou and massiliano pagliara so absolutely stacked lineup of people um playing on that weekend can't wait it'll be super fun just go there for burger and chill a bit you know if i can't get some time off from work i'll work from home maybe the couple of days that i'm meant to be there and then fly back on the first plane after work or something it's going to be an absolute bond so i really can't wait so really looking forward to seeing that and really looking forward to being in and around the crowd when they enjoy themselves in those kind of occasions because i would imagine it's probably a different vibe in there when it's warm in it because i would imagine so I, just, I really can't wait honestly i've never been to a city when it's warm it's always when it's cold so it's gonna be great to see it alive that way with the open airs and having a beer in the park and stuff and going for a bike ride maybe going for a little jog before the rave i don't know there's many things i'm planning on doing so i'm really looking forward to it i can't wait i can cannot wait on the other end of things we have concerning news about Berghain going on there i've saw this um posted on the Berghain subreddit again if you're a fan of that club and you're a fan of that city in general and you want some news and some insights of what's going on on the ground with some people who would regard themselves as locals and people who regard themselves as um, regulars of the club definitely check out the burger and subreddit it's definitely a good resource and somebody posted a screenshot here taken from the burger line live which is an excellent resource also it's an instagram account to follow from essentially saturday evening onwards they always post anonymous um, submissions of uh, queue updates in terms of pictures of the queue text messages saying how long it is whatever what's the you know what's the kind of hit rate in terms of people getting in it's great if you want to use it and you want to not sure what time to go definitely check it out but they had this really concerning message they were sharing that somebody anonymously shared to them via dms and it says as follows um was there yesterday and had and three of my friends me as well had something put in our drink the burger and awareness team which i didn't know they even have which is great told us that this is probably um were ko drops i don't know what that means what's, what's, a, what's a ko ko drops that they had may cause uh, they had many cases in the last weeks but can't find who's responsible they told us that yesterday every hour someone collapsed because of this could you please tell people to be very careful and to not move around with open drinks so some absolute psycho is going into the Berghain and basically um, dropping, I don't know, what would it be? Would you, GHB, ketamine, whatever it may be in terms of a disassociative in some person's drink in an effort, I guess, to maybe what, date rape them or something i'm not really too sure what the deal is there but that's super concerning because again from the times i've been there one of the major kind of plus points you can say about that place in terms of it being a super club is that in terms of drugs use of course everyone in there is taking drugs for the most part but for the most part it's also a place that i've probably felt the safest when it comes to just being around people who are high and maybe getting high yourself you don't really feel as if like you're in a crazy lawless you know excessive place everyone's kind of looking out for each other in a weird way i've, I've been you know a little bit off my nut and had people come up to me giving me glasses of water i've done the same thing for other people um i've seen people you know concerned getting their arm around you saying are you okay making sure you're fine getting someone to help you up if you're dead i mean one time i slept in there I, I, I was so tired i think i was in there for like 16 hours and i just ended up sleeping on in one of the little dark room bits towards the back somewhere and then they you know someone woke me up and basically i guess i was sleeping my phone drops on the floor and you know cracked of course and somebody got my phone put it on my chest basically and put my hands over it or something because i don't ever sleep like that someone must have put my phone over my chest and put it on like that and then someone from the team kind of went around and said are you okay da, 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 da. yeah i'm fine I mean and just basically helped me downstairs and helped me to go with all the taxi and cab and stuff like just brilliant lovely people so it's definitely a place that i've always felt safe in and, and i'm sure other people could also say the same especially if you go in there and you're scantily clad and whatnot and you want to feel free um it's definitely the best place to go so to hear this happening is a real shame it really really is and i hope they end up catching a culprit very very soon but definitely something to keep an eye on if you are gonna go there um you know basically keep your head in the swivel don't let anyone take advantage of you out there and don't allow yourself to be in a position where somebody has the ability to put that sort of stuff in your drink usually people are really 
I, from what I remember being there, they're usually really tight with their drinks or for the most part, because it's such a dancey club, which again, which is so weird to say, because most clubs should be dancey. All clubs should be dancey, but you know what I mean? Most of the people just go and pose. But from what I've seen, most people, when they do go to the bars, they go to the bar, they have their drink, they may stand around somewhere and then they would leave them and then go and dance. There's not a lot of people I remember from being there most, a lot of times, I've probably been there more than 10 times where people are literally on the dance floor with drinks, how we do in England. You know, I mean, people do that often in England, you're holding a whole pint, you're holding a beer bottle, a, a cocktail. But a day I've seen a lot of people just down their drinks at the bar or go to another area and then, you know, head straight into the dance floor and absolutely smash your face through, um, you know, everybody in terms of trying to find a space to dance and throw your hands up in the air. So, you know, it's really concerning to hear that, but hopefully they catch the person soon. Hopefully they catch them soon.